I look in there. See if I can spot my queen on the walls anywhere. Kill the beetles as I see them. Well, hey there, folks. It's Barry's Best Honey once again. I'm Mike. And I do bees from time to time. <laughs> Seems like I do bees all the time. Oh, I'm tired. Anyway, it is the 10th of September. Same day as when I went through uh, all the colonies. Still got to go into town. Looking good so far, actually. I'm, I'm encouraged. Uh, I was kind of concerned, but I'm encouraged. Um, two of them so far here. That I'm pretty sure a queenless. One may not be, but... And then there's one sketchy one. And then there's one weak one that we're going to move right now into a nuke. I think everything is settled down out there. I was concerned about robbing. That's why I didn't do it during the last video. Plus, I need to split the video up anyway. Uh, we're going to move them into a nuke. They, they were fine, but there were signs of some honey being eaten by small hive beetle maggots. Don't want those larvae running around in there. Um, not a big patch, not a major, nothing slimed out, nothing like that. Didn't see a ton of beetles in there, but it, it takes a matter of two days. <laughs> Done. If they can't keep up. My biggest thing for beetles is space. Just get the space reduced. That's all I can think about doing all the time. They can overwinter in the nuke. I thought they were queenless, but on inspection when I was looking in it, I saw a queen. That was good. So let's go do that. Looks like the rob, like what I saw robbing. I was going to say robbing. Looks like the bees have calmed down. What was happening was at the end of all those hives, they got about 20 or 22 colonies done here. And still with 15 more, 16 more to go, something like that. But what I noticed out there on these stands was a lot of activity around the hives. Now, that could have very well been because I put entrance reducers and everything. So everybody's got entrance reducers and they were clogging up on the front and finding other ways. And a lot of them have rotten holes in the sides and they go in there. So everything seems to have settled down. Don't think we had any robbing going on. So I think we're safe to move that. Even though there is a slight bit of nectar coming in, folks, that's not enough uh, to keep them satisfied if they can find an opportune hive to rob out. So I got to be careful with this one. And uh, I got a nuke sitting out there. All we gotta go do is move them in there and see if we can find the queen. So let's go do that really quick. Smoker's lit. It's warming up, but it's still beautiful out. It's still in the 80s. Our high next week coming up, or this week coming up, is gonna be like 85. Oh my goodness, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, finally. Light at the end of the tunnel. It's not a train. Or, <laughs> what did a viewer say on, maybe it was Ian's video or somebody? Somebody said, a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a gorilla holding a flashlight. That was funny. I had to chuckle at that. <laughs> Whoever that was, I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, that was a good one. So here we are. We've got it set up. Now this thing, it could probably stay in this and be all right. But I don't know. I don't want to take any chances. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of bees. Let's take a look. Let's inspect and let's double check. Do we really need to put them in this nuke? We may not need to. And I'll show you what I saw that got me a little concerned. It just don't feel like they're covering the frames that good. And I can always move them back into a 10 frame with some honey frames. All these frames that are excess will get frozen. It's not... I'm seeing a lot of that right there. You see how that's chewed up and, and eaten up a little bit and it's wet? That's not good, but I don't see any larvae, and I saw two hive beetles when I opened it. Could have been some of it was squashed by me, but that that's not. I didn't squash that. So that's, that's what concerns me. See, they're not covering these frames, so when I counted frames... So this has got some nectar in stores. I would put this one in there. I saw the queen earlier today. She's got a few larvae in this. Larvae are in this, so we put that one in there. Gonna, let's give them a good food frame. And my nukes and singles will get fed some one to one, most likely. And if it's too close to winter, I'll give them two to one. They will get fed. I'll bulk them up good. Plus, I've got fondant. I like fondant now that we can got access to that over here in the U.S. 
This is a good frame. Queen's been laying in here. I don't see her, but she's been in here. Again, I did see her this morning, so I did. I was assured they were queen right. That was good news. This has got some weight to it. Next one looks really good. Uh, looks like she might be putting some brood in here. She's just not laying that much, so that's what concerned me. I might, I might not leave that one in there. Let's see what we got to choose from next. Here's a brood frame. Now this one's broke, but I still need to put it in because it's one of their only brood frames. But it's heavy. It's got honey on both on one side for sure, and yeah, it's a lot of nectar in this one. A lot of nectar. So this one will go into. Hadn't seen the queen. Nice. There's another brood frame here too. So we'll put this on the edge. Actually, I may take some of these ugly frames out. I'm seeing better frames as I go in. This has got brood on both sides. You definitely need to have sealed brood, or all brood, because they are not too popular. Still no queen. I saw her this morning again. I know she's in here. Wish I'd have had a nuke ready when I saw her. I do like to see the queen when I move a nuke over. That's just me. Everybody's different, but that's just me. You know me. Just doing a vlog of how I do things. Not a video of how to do things. So what am I going to do with this one? All right, she might be on this one. I see eggs. I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna take that other food frame out put this one in this has got nectar open brood sealed honey and then sealed honey on the back side so I am actually gonna take this one back out I should have waited and seen what I had to choose from first but this is coming out I got a better one with honey and brood again we'll feed them they'll get They'll get stores built up and bulked up before winter. Should they fare well. See, this is another one that's just got eaten up, eaten up area. That's just not, I don't see larvae in here eating them up, but you just don't know. I see beetles, so I don't want that in there. I'm gonna put this pretty frame of honey and brood in here. Got uh, brood, brood. Okay, so I tell you what, we'll put a this frame in there. And that's what we're going to live with. So again, all her brood is in there. Good frame of honey. We're going to give her her bees, and I want them packed tight. Mm -hmm. the tighter they're packed, the better off we'll be for beetles. They've been treated, so. That's not a concern. Alright. Let's get these frames shaking. I'm going to look for her on this. Don't see her. Nice frame, but it'll get frozen and save. See, there's plenty of bees in here. She could be in there. I'll look around before I shake anything. I hate shaking that because it's full of beetles.
Alright, so I'm gonna look in here. See if I can spot my queen on the walls anywhere. Kill the beetles as I see them. See, you see all these beetles and these hives. When you get these colonies that are weak, they get in these hives and they get after them. Another thing is I'm seeing some carpenter ants. You know, that's that's not good. And this colony, what had happened with this colony was the other day I was out here and for whatever reason, I can't remember why I came. And so I opened up this one just to check them. I was out here, it was a nice day and they had a queen in there, it was good. She still had her white dot on her. One of the graphs I had done, one of my first graphs I had ever done. And I looked at this one and by the hop guard strips, wax moths had gotten underneath, just where the hop, wax moths, uh, the, the strips were. The bees had controlled them everywhere else, but they didn't want to get anywhere near that nasty hop guard. They, they get away from that stuff. And so, uh, I said, well, I got to reduce this down. So I reduced it down. And then today when I saw some of that wet honey in there, I just, that gets me, it really kind of, alarms me just a bit enough to where I've seen hive beetles where you'll see a colony you think is good and literally two to three days later they'll be slimed out they really will um, just because the larvae you don't see them you don't see the eggs and so if they've got eggs spread over 10 frames if there's 10 frames and bees can't cover them all and those small hive beetles have larvae uh, eggs in there and all the nooks and crannies when two to three days they hatch and those larvae come out and begin to eat and they come out so fast that if the bees weren't able to keep the hive beetles corralled from laying those eggs all over the place, it multiplies so fast that three days after the eggs are hatched, your colony is slimed out because those those li those larvae, those hive beetle larvae, go and begin to eat the honey and the protein and all the pollen, and it's just disgusting. We all have seen it, but it happens fast. Anyway, that's the that's the reason this is getting reduced. So I'm going to shake these bees in here. I don't see her. That's what they're doing in these corners. They're keeping these beetles at bay. This is actually a nice brush. It doesn't seem to aggravate them quite as bad. Look at those beetles in here. Yeah, we were getting ready to be in a bad way. Might still if we don't watch out. That's what these bees are doing. They're just trying to keep these beetles at bay. Trying to protect their nest. Alright, get those out of the way. I'm just trying to do it without shaking up the beetles. Woo, the beetles are bad. Look at them. Look at the, wow, it was getting ready to be an ugly scene in this colony. Roaches, beetles. These don't want to leave them, they're just trying to guard the, that roach. Yeah, it was getting ready to be ugly, folks. Let's hope that helps them out. Let's get these other frames out of here and in the freezer. Don't want a bunch of robbing to start on these frames that have honey. They're already investigating it and it's not going to be long now. Well, there you are, folks. We got some bees investigating. It's definitely uh, took a little bit more time than I should have, but I kept looking for the queen and deciding on frames. But I don't think we're too bad in too bad a shape. But there are a lot of bees flying around and uh, just trying to check things out. But here's what the nuke looks like now. So we've got them busted down to a small entrance. There's five frames of bees. Um, when I looked in there and counted those seven frames, those were just bees hanging out to the top. So it, it was a, it was probably a good thing. And after seeing all the beetles in the bottom, as we were, you know, dumping the box and getting them out, wow, we we were getting ready to be in a situation. Uh, that was getting ready to be a situation so look there's a beetle trying to get in they're just everywhere um, so we might have saved them we'll see um, sometimes it's just too late depends how many frames have 
high vita larvae and eggs already on them. But only time will tell. Um, other than that, I think that's it. We'll see. I'll let y'all know if this thing makes it, if it's fine. I hope you enjoyed this video of moving this nuke over and hopefully maybe we saved them. Um, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, of course. And be sure to leave your comments. I try to answer every one of them. It takes me a few days before I get to them, but I try to answer every one of them. All right, guys. Well, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees down here in southeast Louisiana. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. May God bless you. We'll see y'all later.